What's up everybody? This is MC Aggie St. James. This is daily video vlog number 124. Um, I wanted to talk about fairy tale lands and I wanted to talk about other dimensions and I've, I've, I've talked about this on previous vlogs of mine but um, I really wanted to kind of like really talk about it because I honestly believe that these places are real and that they do truly exist and you can call me crazy or what have you I really don't care um, and once again this is just my belief but I really do believe that they're real I think it's it's society and it's the the closed-mindedness of the people of society that is made people believe that these places are not real and that they they don't exist when in all actuality truth be told they really do um but we wouldn't see a narnia if it was staring us in the face because we're so motherfucking closed-minded and you know go off of what society says is real and what society says is not real instead of trying to find out for our damn selves um but I honestly think places like Narnia, Never Never Land, and Wonderland, and, and the fucking Little Mermaid. I think all of that shit is real. Fairies, I believe in all that shit. And, you know, you, I, I sit back sometimes and I think, you know, how do these people come up with this shit, you know? You know... How did they come up with Never Never Land? How did they come up with Peter Pan and and Giants and and fucking The Little Mermaid and, and Beauty and the Beast? And who, you know? I mean, yeah, true indeed, dude. True indeed, anybody could have come up with this shit. But at the same time, it just kind of makes you think. Like, you know, and if these people really, like, like... If these places really, if these other dimensions and other lands really do exist, then I bet they're just sitting here laughing at fucking the world, the people on the surface of the earth, thinking, wow, they're really dumb. They honestly think that it's not real. They honestly think that we're fake and that we're not real. And they just think it's just animation, that it's just a kid's movie. I bet they're really sitting there thinking, like, we are dumb as hell, us, because... And, and it just got me to thinking, you know, because Egypt, my daughter's four and a half, you know, and Egypt will ask me sometimes about stuff like this, you know, she's, she's an old soul like her mother, but she'll ask me, you know, about fairies and, and stuff like that and, and mermaids and I tell her, I say Egypt, they're real. Her name is Egypt and I tell her, I say Egypt, they're real. Um... And she'll say, well, have you ever seen a fairy? And I, no, I've never seen a fairy, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. I've never been to Never Never Land, but that doesn't mean it's not real. You know, I know people that have never seen ghosts, but that doesn't mean ghosts aren't real. You know what I mean? Like, all I'm saying, people, is open up your mind just a little bit. I mean, we're talking about a government in an entertainment industry that has been lying to people from fucking day one who's to say that these places aren't real who's to say never um fucking never neverland isn't real who's to say narnia isn't real but hey if they are real and these people or this person did travel to this place through some other dimension or from inside of the earth from the inner earth or you know what have you you know if they did, then I'm sure they came back and was like, yo, we can make money off of this shit. It's real, but we don't want society to know about that because their whole agenda is to put society in a box and to make you, and to tell you what to, you know, to think, to tell you how to dress, to tell you how to act, to tell you what's hot and trendy, to tell you that if you don't have this brand of clothing, then that that you ain't you know trendy enough to tell you how to dress to tell you how to speak to tell you how to act that's what society that's what the entertainment industry is all about i'm in the entertainment industry i even know that shit people wake the fuck up so it just got me to thinking you know 
Now, whoever was lucky enough to venture into this other dimension or into the inner earth, I'm pretty sure that they couldn't come back and say, you know, to the to to the certain to a certain select folk, I'm pretty sure that they were like they knew where he had been because they probably helped his ass get there or had been there themselves. But in their mind, it's all about making money off of a good story, right? Everybody loves a good story. Everybody wants to hear a fucking good story, right? And the and and the more not twisted, but the more fantasy tale it is. The more money it sells, right? Kids love that shit. Even adults love that shit. You get what I'm saying? Who's to say Hogwarts isn't real? Who's to say that 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 you know when they went to the train station and went through the wall, Harry and and Hermione and and, and they went through the wall to get to the other side? Who's to say that shit can't happen? Who's to say that other dimensions are not standing, are not standing, but are not literally right here in front of us? But we can't access it because of our minds. I mean, I'm just, I'm really open-minded when it comes to shit like that. I believe that, you know, the earth is hollow, and I believe that there is um, a land in there, and I believe that people do live in there, and whether the place is named Agartha or what have you, I believe that it is real. I believe fairies are real. I fucking believe in mermaids. I do. Right? Anything society says is not real, I'm going to be the first one to raise my hand and be like, nah, motherfuckers, that shit's real. You know it's real. You know that shit's real. But these are places that only a select few know about that actually exist. These are places that, that they don't want the rest of the world to know really are real and really do exist they don't want you to be able to go inside of yourself phase everything out find that that ability to be able to go into other dimensions they don't want you to be able to do that shit and you know for good reason because you know if true indeed these places do exist then just think of all the fucked up people in this world that would go over there and fuck it up. I mean, y'all know I'm speaking the truth. So, you know, in a sense, I get it. I understand why they're keeping it a secret. But it makes me, it really intrigues me and makes me want to know even more. Well, then how can I get over there? How can I see? Because I'm one of the last people to, to, to I'm telling y'all, I'm so into this shit and I really have been doing a lot of research on other dimensions and stuff and and you know a lot of a lot of people that are um, claim that they're experts in this field of other dimensions and and some truly may be this is getting dark and I apologize there we go some truly may actually be experts but I don't think it's so much as, as, you know, a lot of these people are like, you have to go inside of yourself and meditate for hours, and it takes a lot of practice, and, 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 and then once you've been able to do this, then you can open up your mind into another realm. I don't believe it's all that deep. I honestly don't believe it's all that deep. I honestly believe that there are other dimensions, like literally right in front of me. But it's just like, for some reason, whatever the reason is, I can't access them right now. And, you know, I have researched several stories of people that have disappeared in front of people in front of their very eyes. I, I, have, I, have, I have done research on people that, that, you know, have been walking with people that just... I'm sorry this keeps getting dark, y'all. I'm trying my best. I've got fucking lights on and everything um but I've, I've done research where people have been walking with with their friends or their family members all you know all of a sudden their family member just vanishes right before their very eyes it's like they walk through another portal they walk through a portal to another dimension and most of them are never seen again and a lot of people that have seen stuff like this don't even come out and tell anybody about it because they automatically know people are, are, are just going to assume that they're crazy or they were on some hallucinative drug or some shit when they claim their friend disappeared. 
you know, and, and a lot of people are so shocked and scared about what they witness, they don't even know what to fucking think about it. So they put it away back in their minds and maybe hope to one day forget it, even though they know that they never will. And I know I'm going someplace with this shit, people. All I'm saying is just be open-minded, you know? I mean, I've, I've got a bamboo forest in my backyard. Who's to say that, there, that, that there's not a portal in there to another land? And I know it sounds outrageous. Trust me, y'all, I get it. I know it does. But does it? I mean, who's the crazy one? I would think the crazy one is the one that believes that none of this stuff is real. That only their reality is what's truth and what's fact and what's real and what's visible. You know, I think half of the stuff that people claim isn't real really is real. But they're so, you know, like I said, they're just so closed minded that, you know, they don't want to see it. Like I said, some people, you could have an alien staring at them in their face and they would say that it wasn't there. So I, I just, it's really got me on this whole journey to try to discover, you know, if these places are real, you know, and, and, and if they are, how do you get to them? Or how do you let them know that you know that they're real, even though you've never, you know? Um, so it just, it just, you know, it got me to think. Um, today is Sunday and I've been filling out more applications. Don't ask me how many I filled out because I do not know. I have lost count. But like I said, once again, um, I'm looking forward to, to um, tomorrow when I do my callbacks on these two places. And hopefully I'll get a lead. Uh, well, it's already a good lead, but hopefully I can get an interview with one of them, at least one of them. Um, so keep me in your prayers for that. But I just wanted to throw that out there because I know that I have faithful subscribers who constantly watch my vlogs each and every day and and I'm sure are curious to know, you know, what's been going on with that. And so um, until something, you know, comes through with, with you know, with the job, I, I, I really want to keep everybody updated um, on that and how it's going. But um, back to what I was saying. So I don't know, you know, I'm just been sitting here thinking about it, you know. Um, you know, I, I honestly believe mermaids are real, you know. They know society's going to assume that it's not. They know society doesn't believe in mermaids. They know society doesn't believe in other dimensions like that. They know society doesn't believe in fairies. So why not put out a story about it? And make some money off of it. Because besides, it's all for entertainment, right? Or is it? Could it be that these places really do exist and it's their way of telling us that they do, but society is so fucking stupid that they just assume it's just another good story. That they pay money to go see at a fucking movie theater or from a DVD in their home. You know? I don't know. I just, I, I believe in stuff like this, and, and I hope one day I'm able to see a fairy or walk through a portal to another dimension and then come back, and, and, and I don't give a fuck who thinks I'm crazy. As long as I know the shit happened and I was sober and sane and not on nothing when the shit occurred, I don't care who believes me. But I don't know. It's just something to throw out, something to think about. You know, maybe all this shit really is real. And we're just the ones that just choose to look the other way and, and, and think that it's just fake. Why? Because Disney said it's fake. It just makes you, it kind of gets you thinking, you know. Because Disney said it's never, never land. Does that mean that it's really not a real place? just because Disney said it, it's not a real place? Or could Disney have been there before he died? And that's how we came up with, you know, it just, I'm just saying. So, this is MC Aggie St. James, y'all. Google, 
Aggie St. James, A-G-G-I, Saint, S-A-I-N-T, James, J-A-M-E-S, um, for music from me, um, and subscribe to my channel, to my YouTube channel, um, I talk about stuff like this, I talk about things that people normally would walk away from, or look the other way from, you know what I mean, like, stuff that people just don't really hear a lot about because they just you know like mysteries and places like that um and I do a lot of research so if there's anything that you've discovered that you would like for me to look into and um possibly find some some detailed information about that maybe you may have missed leave a comment below this video vlog and I will surely look into it and let you know my thoughts on it um once again, it's MC Aggie St. James. I love y'all, and I'm out.